Hi, I'm Dr. Cheryl McKeever, the Executive Director of the Flower City Arts Center, and thank you for joining us today. I am not only honored, but incredibly wowed by our guest, Levon Shepard. Thank you, thank you. Again, my name is Levon Shepard. I'm a professor at the Rochester Institute of Te Technology. I teach painting there, principally watercolor more than anything else. I also run the Joy Gallery, and, uh, and we, we're in the LeVon Shepard Art Studio. And then uh, adjacent to uh, the Joy Gallery is Franz Boutique, which is my wife. My middle name is Joy. So uh, talk to me about how you determined the name for your gallery. Well, my mother, was a, she was a minister. Mm -hmm. And she used to have a church called the House of Joy. What I decided to do was to name our gallery after her church. Memorial and remembrance of her. So I so appreciate that. That joy is a special name. Yes, now, isn't it, is. It? <laughs> it, really is. it really is. We are always looking at how is it that we are able to engage, you know, our students of color, and open their, I guess, their spectrum or their hearts or their spirits to um, the art of being creative. What words of wisdom would you share with us? To recognize the students, if they have some ability. You know, and, and, and I find that in, in life, there's a lot of people who have, uh, who, who have the ability to draw or to paint. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it lasts longer. Uh, uh, sometimes it's just a hobby and it, only, and it lasts for a very short period of time with some, some people. Other people, it lasts longer. And then some people that do it and then they lose interest in it and it comes back years later. There's a fella, his name was Clyde Sanford, and I grew up with Clyde here in Rochester, and uh, he ran a gallery called the Haiti Gallery a few years ago. But Clyde, um, uh, I never knew of Clyde as actually having any artistic experience at all, or, or any ability in art. He got involved in some activity that ended him up in reform school, and ultimately in in prison, and, uh, and ironically enough, he came out of prison around the same time I graduated from uh, Rochester Institute of Technology, and uh, and I was working at that time for the Memorial Art Gallery, and he was running this gallery with his wife at that time, Alice. Clyde was a very fine painter, and uh, and, I, and I was wondering, well, you know, I never saw that when we were in grade school. You know, I know a lot about you, uh, but I never, I never knew you had that talent and ability. Mm. Well, he picked it up when he was in when he was in prison, and somebody taught him how to how to use the oil paints and you know and how to paint these these images that he did, and uh, and he was very interested in African art, mm. and he was like a phenomenon here in Rochester for many many years. But this is a guy who maybe had been interested in art, but never had the opportunity or the time to do it, except uh, when he went to reform school, or in this case, prison. I used to run what we call sidewalk art workshops. And, uh, and there were some kids who came in, they were very serious about what they were doing with the art. Other kids, they just wanted to hang out and have fun. But then there were other, other students where it kind of stuck with them. I've always tried to encourage both. Yes. If you're doing it just to enjoy yourself, then do that. Uh, if, you, if you're doing it and you're real serious about it, then you need to keep pushing. I, I believe a person will know in their heart and in their mind if this is the right way to go.